Really f***ing those right now. No delivery means no money. And Turbo's got debts to pay. That's f***ing put me three and a half grand out in pocket. Turbo's in survival mode. He hasn't had a decent job in weeks. It just... It just shits me to tears. As hard as he tries, he can't find a load. It's been pretty tough. Pretty tough. It's an owner-driver's worst nightmare. A Fuso tip of a truck to go from there to Darwin. I'll have to get someone to give you a call. I've actually got a road train sitting here waiting to load to go. Well, also, tell them to check his messages when I see him pop rolling. Righto. Thanks. Okay, okay, mate. Work dries up while the bills keep coming. <sighs> and the lowest of quotes is never quite low enough. I just gave him a price and he goes, no way, man, that's too expensive. Next morning... All right, mate, too easy. News which is truly music to his ears. Sunshine Coast to Darwin, seven metre boat. The loads start coming and Turbo's trailers are filling up fast. If they want it over the weekend, then, mate, I'll, um, I'll be able to be out and gone tomorrow morning, which would put it a Sunday. As each tonne is booked to his truck... Six, eight, two. All right, mate, too easy. Thanks, mate, see ya. Another weight is lifted. He's confirmed, yep, we want to book it all in. You imagine the world sitting on your shoulder. Well, half of that world has just been lifted off my shoulders right now. It's good. From Brisbane, Turbo will head north to Charters Towers before the long haul west to Darwin, a bitumen slog of almost 4,000 kilometres. But most importantly for Turbo, desperately needed cash from this job will go a long way to repairing his hard hit business. It's the old saying of Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. But in my case, all the king's men and all the king's horses could put me back together. Back. He's got a long day ahead of him, getting four separate loads onto his two trailers. It's always go, go, go. First on the back, a unit to test truck brakes in its own custom-built trailer, worth $150,000. Nah, that's right there, go, back. Load number two, a $50,000 boat for a doctor in Darwin. I'm just sort of trying to line it up down the centre of the container pins. Now to pick up a truck, load that on, chain it all down. Hauling different loads for different customers means a lot of extra work for Turbo. It's just going to be a long day. Leaving his loaded trailer behind, Turbo heads deep into the suburbs for his final pickup. This is going to be very friggin' tight. Turbo has to navigate up suburban streets, not designed for a 20-metre truck and trailer. I need absolute quiet on this. He thinks he's nailed it. But his blind spot is much higher up. Oh, shit. Extra repair bills are the last thing Turbo needs. A tree decided to break my truck. A tree branch has toppled his exhaust stack. Oh. Now his truck is not roadworthy. And to top it off, part of his load is already falling apart. Sides blowing out on the trailer there. What happens, the air actually gets in through the roller door on the back, and it's actually blowing the walls out. And so I've put a strap around it to stop it from happening anymore. But he's got to get on with the job. This family is moving house to Darwin, and everything's got to go. That should fit in there nicely. While Turbo delegates the heavy lifting... Go into this corner. A neighbour offers to work on his blown stack. Put it back in and top it back up. 
Too easy. That's good. The bags that I want to try to put up in the back there. See? See? Remote. Even with help, it's midnight before Turbo has his load on. Go left hand down. And his truck fixed. Pretty tight. But it's just the nature of the beast. Next day, and some welcome news. Best mate and karaoke king, James, is joining Turbo on the road. James is coming along, one, to help me with the driving. He's also there so he can get his hours up for his road train licence. Went loose in the outback. Hell yeah. Oh, jeez. Before the boys can leave, just one last job, fuel up. Turbo's truck can carry over 1,000 litres of diesel. That's about $1,400 worth. Not enough money. Not enough money? Yep. I've just been in the bank because I had an issue with it last night. Went in the bank, they said it was good to go. Uh, see, see what his car comes up with. Sure. We'll get back to you. you go through? Oh, shit. Um, well, we'll figure something there. That's all we need. Um, my card declined through, and then James went and put his card through and declined through on that. Limits. $1,440-odd. Turbo has been asked to pay up or park up. He's stranded again. He needs a miracle. A passing trucker may be the answer to his prayers. This good Samaritan offers to lend him the money. Stay to help us out of, out of the pickle. Yeah, been there, done that. As a fellow owner driver, Stoney understands crippling cash flow problems. It's one of those things that happens. You, know, you can't help each other out. What are we doing here? Thanks, Stoney. Turbo can't believe his luck. Now I can get in the truck and I can hightail it out of here. I can make my destination tonight. I'm out of here. Let's go. But Turbo's got his work cut out. He's already behind schedule. Two hour delay like that, it throws the spanner right into the works. And he still has to hook up his trailers. James will follow in a car. This will be loaded onto the road train after their first delivery. Right, we're off. Finally, after weeks of chasing freight and days spent loading, Turbo can make a mine. Next stop, Charters Towers. Or sooner. Mustering up at the moment. Here we go. Thank you for letting me go, Mr Cow. Turbo's desperate to get some road behind him. But his load is now copying 100 kilometre an hour winds, the same as a Category 1 cyclone. And he's seen something he doesn't like. His quick fix to the walls of the damaged trailer has failed. The side panels are now falling apart. The wind's blowing inside the trailer and building up pressure, and it's expanding the walls out. If Turbo doesn't solve the problem, his client could end up with a brake tester that has no walls. Oh, Jesus Christ! And it's a $30,000 trailer. Plastic! Look at this. One, two screw. Where's the other two? He needs to find a windbreak for the trailer, and he thinks he's got the solution. I've got to swap the back trailer to the front trailer, the front trailer to the back trailer. Moving the trailer into the slipstream of his truck cab might be the answer. He hopes the reshuffle will help, but he can't believe the extent of the damage. 
That is untracking believable. Turbo is close to his first drop-off. A farmer outside of Charters Towers is waiting for the water truck. The unload should be routine, but as Turbo reverses up to the dirt loading ramp, he notices a problem. I can see what I've got to do is I've actually got to make a square face, so that ramp can almost come solid up to here. Turbo backs himself to complete all necessary earthworks. So easy. But making a firm square edge out of soft dirt is trickier than it might seem. Oh, it's just turning into a hole now. It was a loading ramp, now it's going to be the new swimming pool. <laughs> Some finishing touches and Turbo's masterpiece is complete. It's been a very long time since I've operated the back, eh? All right, now let's have another go, crack at this. Bob's your auntie. The ramp is now ready for a simple unload. All right, go straight back. Oh, what have we got? The ramp's collapsed. Um, see if you can go forward. James gives it all she's got. Die, you thing. Breaks in this thing is shit. Righto. Give it shit. Go. She's got no brakes. It's got no brakes. None at all. OK, well, I'm going to have to get a chain on that. Time for some serious grunt. <laughs> I pulled the handbrake on and the piece came out from the floor like it just broke out. Oh, what you took off there, there I had the envision of the truck in that tree. <laughs> I should have actually went through there just for a bit of a bush bash. With the wayward water truck delivered, it's time to carefully load a car. Oh. Turbo's making sure it doesn't budge. And it's locked. For the next two and a half thousand kilometres. With two cars, a fishing boat, the entire contents of a house move and the trailer, Turbo's fully loaded. He may not be on dirt, but the roads are still rough way this road rides, which is almost surf like surfing. Battering his load. Deliver damaged goods, and he risks not getting paid. So I'm a little bit cautious and a little bit worried. A passing motorist spots a problem. You've got the two back straps on the little car have come off. Say, so, right Righto. These loose straps need to be fixed quick, or this car could become scrap metal. He's got to pull over before he loses the car.
Hang on. I put the strap over the top, didn't I? Yeah. It's a puzzling Houdini act. This car is a magician. He can't afford any further escape attempts. Customers are waiting on him. And adding to the pressure, his mate James has to make a flight home for his karaoke business. I've got to be out of Darwin in the next, say, 30 hours. He's counting on his best mate to get him to the airport. And if we can't be back on Saturday, they're going to say, well, look, we'll find somebody who can do it. A quick pit stop, and they'll be on the road. Swipe the card. Comes up stolen. Oh shit. The card is blocked. And so are they. I missed the plane out of Darwin. It's not gonna look good for our company. And back home, there'll be no shoulder to cry on. The wife has said that if I'm not back in Brisbane on Saturday, it's to not bother to coming home at all. Turbo needs a guardian angel. One with a handy thousand dollars to spare. How you going, Wayne? Trying to get out of, a, out of a sticky situation right now. Thanks, mate. See you, mate. One of my customers, he's in Turkey. He's got it all sorted out. A regular customer has given him an advance. So he's going to be paying it now. Thank you, darling. Too easy. All right. Catch you later. All right. Getting out of Isa. I was beginning to think I'd have to rent a house here. We're not fucking around today either. We're fucking on it. After a lucky escape, the boys can finally start eating into the 1,600 kilometres ahead of them. Cheese, grated carrot, beetroot, chicken, and then ham. They'll need to drive through the night. Turbo takes the day shift while James gets some kip. Hey, you're right, mate. What's up? Uh, drive board, mate. I'll see how I go. I'm trying to get you out. Mate, thank you very much. So this has now become a recovery mission. This 53-metre road train is seriously bogged. Turbo needs to push on, but for him, the trucking rule of help a mate always applies. Right, mate. Roll them trailer brakes off. Brakes off. You ready? She's not moving. This truck's going nowhere. And if Turbo doesn't leave soon, neither is James. Turbo's in luck. Another driver joins the rescue mission with a trucker's saviour, a grader. With a pulling power of over 20 tonnes, graders have saved many a truck. All right, mate, we'll leave you with it. With the arrival of the cavalry, Turbo can hit the road. It's over 1,000 kilometres to Darwin. They still need to unload, and James has a flight he can't miss. Next day, Turbo and James are within striking distance of Darwin. The hard yards are still to come. Got to get everything offloaded this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time to spare, but Turbo decides to make an unscheduled pit stop. I'm getting people fuel for here. Not another bloody Sanger. No. James's patience is wearing thin. Strained. It's very strained. With the pit stop complete, it's a short run to the delivery yard. 
Turbo's over eight hours late, and he's got bad news for one of his clients. At the start of the 4,000-kilometre trip, a $30,000 trailer suffered wind damage. Why would, why would the brake trailer be damaged? Mate, because it actually come apart in transit. OK, well, what you can do with it is you can take it back to where you brought it from. And we don't want it. Yeah, we, we, we won't take delivery of it then, mate. We'll do it to them, and we'll deal with that. Shit. Really f***ing those right now. No delivery means no money. And Turbo's got debts to pay. I know. That's put me three and a half grand out in pocket. Adding to the stress, best mate James has called it quits. Carries on like an idiot like that. Not going to get nowhere. It's been building and building and building. And it's just blown tonight. We'll call a cab. I, I can't take any more. Turbo pushes on alone. As James heads to the airport, Turbo needs help. My heart's playing up again. The physical and mental stress of the trip has caught up with him. His mate's gone and damaged goods have been rejected. That's put me three and a half grand out in pocket. He takes his heart medication. Right now, my heart is racing in a million mile an hour. So I've still, I've still got that trailer. I've got to finish unloading, and I've got to come back, and I've got to put the dolly on and get the other trailer, and then I've got to go and do that. So I've got to do. I can't stop. Twenty minutes later, the pill kicks in, and so does Turbo. He's ready to deliver the house move. He's made it, but over 12 hours late, and there's no one to help him unload. It's a silly question. It's the last thing Turbo needs. But he's in luck. Hi, cop. Brett. Turbo. 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 Yes, How good it. are you, mate? Turbo, the <laughs> removalists. <laughs> On their way home from the pub, a group of blokes lend a hand. Right. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh, here you go. There he is. Come on. For Turbo, this journey has been a roller coaster. Now when I all do, we stick together, we help each other, we get in, we get the job. Now it's time for us to go party hard. What do you reckon, boys? Party hard? Yeah! Let's go! Yeah, yeah Matt Trackers, tell you what, Turbo, Turbo is a legend. <laughs>